so we're in the Cayman Islands, Grand Cayman Islands. We got a little bit of time in between the cruise, and uh, we're in between our ship crossing voyage, and we had about two hours to do this beach over here. So let's find some booty. Well, look at that. It's a Cayman Island coin. It's a turtle. And it's surfacing, and that's the rings on the water. Man, that's cool. Let's put that in a bag. I like that. Tiny little zipper piece. Looks like we got some gold. Gold? You see something right there? Skinny little bean neck. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's awesome. Is uh, it an American? Look, it is not an American. I don't, I can't. I told you we should have brought our glasses. Oh, no, it's not an American coin. Okay. Well, that's, that's cute. That's coral. Can you see what it is? I can't tell what it is. Oh, there it is, right there. It's got a head on it. King George coin. Donald, I got that wrong. It's not King George. It's a Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. As you can tell, I need some glasses. <laughs> yes. Coke bottle opener. It's a set of keys. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody didn't get back to their room. It says B16 on it. Okay. Right there. While she's in the water taking a dip, our vacation time is up. Our cruise ship's going to be leaving soon. So cruise ship gives you a quick glimpse of where you might want to come back to. This is a beautiful place. We'd love to come back. And our next stop is the Treasure Coast in Florida where we're going to do the main bulk of our booty hunting over there. So let's get to sailing. Take a look at that. So the whole Treasure Coast is fixing to be sitting under a hurricane. We've been blown off course and we're stranded here on the Gulf side of Florida. So we'll make the best of it. Stephanie's already out here with her lightning rod. She's <laughs> yelling. I think she's found something. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's a big old weight. Heavy. That's the first one. Fish weight. <laughs> <laughs> that go in our fishing box. That's two for tonight. There's something in there. What is that? Son of a <laughs> That's awesome. What the heck is it? Man, you can tell it's old. I don't know. But you know what? We're not going to bed tonight. Full steam ahead! <laughs> There you go. That Funny is awesome. 
There it is. Jax. Like a kid's toy, Jax? See, that does a little cross. Oh my god. The Jack. I did too. <laughs> I wish it had the top piece, but I love it. This is just totally odd. This is my favorite piece. No, I thought it was a tent stake. It's a bird feather. Look at that. That's a huge feather. Let me see it. Oh, here it is. There it is. It's a it's a coin. Right there. Come on. Got a bird feather? Yeah. The Indians would and say this is a good sign. <laughs> Actually, they'd say, Mmm, that's a good sign. And oddly enough, I do have Indian blood. They can track us back all the way to Chief Cornstalk. I don't know about the Indians, but the pirates are shining on us tonight. Look what we have here. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Ow, I got dirt in my eyes. Ow. That wasn't even that deep. No. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Yeah, I think his stuff is washing out of the dunes. It has to be. Yep. I, I agree. Well, you would think people would have already found this. Yeah. Lucky for us. I know, right? let you know it doesn't feel spooky here at all looks spooky but it's not so they've been making archways for a very very long time right so in this case this place is on sand and this arch distributes the weight down into this reverse arch on the floor that's dug below the sand level so all these arches just transfers all the weight into the reverse arch on the floor and these notches that are cut out here were so that when the gun swings it can go into the corner This is a top gun. So, this bad boy here could hurdle a three to four hundred pound ball of shot out here to the coastline to defend the bay.
So they used a lot of lime in the mortar here, and, and it's leaching out of the mortar, and it's causing stalactites and stalagmites. It's like Carlsbad Cavern, except a faster version of it. Instead of thousands of years, it just took hundreds of years. And above us is a bunch of dirt, and water's leaching through, and it's leaching this stuff out. Looks and like making ice. stalactites and stalagmites. That's pretty cool. An easy way to remember a stalactite is C for ceiling, and stalagmite is G for ground. Let's see if I can get the camera down here to show y'all this height. Nick, those are so big you trip over them. Before we go out there, right here, I'd like to find some of that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I just tripped over it too. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, check this out. What does it go to? It's a creepy dark hole. Man. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Not sure whether to do a ghost hunting show in here or a metal detecting show. Right? Look at him out there, dropping all that booty. Well, here's a booty hunting tip for you. While we can't dig in the dunes, these developers can. So they pull permits to do construction, and they take those tailings, and they throw it right back out on the beach. So these boxes are right up against the no dig line, but that sand definitely came out of the dunes. So your finds aren't always at the water's edge, and you got to think outside the box, <laughs> literally. So here's all of our booty right here. So this is what we dug out of the sand. Uh, this was the biggest item we got right here. So this was like one of my funnest digs, I say, but, and it's a small propeller. And uh, we ran out of batteries on this one, on the camera, so I didn't film this. Along with this hardware was sitting over there too. All of it was basically pretty close to together. Hinges, and a bunch more of these pieces of rusted iron and look at all these sharp objects we got out of the sand now imagine that going through your foot look at this one several e-cigarettes this looks like the handle of some poor dude's scoop must have been the other metal detector guy <laughs> one hot wheel for those of you who are metal detectorist every one of these little items is a is a dig I mean you had to dig every single last one of these little tabs up so when you got a pile like this, that's a lot of digging. Every coin you see was one dig. So that's, you know, could it be a thousand digs. These are all 10 stakes. We found this where they would change their shoes and wash their feet up by the fresh water. Yep, that's real gold. This little thing Found here. this in a volleyball court. It says from Italy. <laughs> but let me show you the good stuff. All right, now these are the prizes right here. Show them that one. That is awesome. Get the light on that. This is definitely ship relics. Some of these relics could have been made to uh, hold, like, the socks up, or, like, in the case of this piece, maybe at the end of a belt buckle. So it's kind of hard to tell. But here's our piece, and there's an example of what it could have been doing. I can only take a guess at this, but... 
they could have been brought over by a priest and they intended on handing them out as they um, were trying to convert Indians and they would have given them some religious trinkets or it could have been somebody's personal religious items that they would have brought and Even they were little antiques. Yeah, they were in a box and that landed up in the dunes and eventually made their way out onto the beach. Remember to click and subscribe. Remember rem Okay. <laughs> remember to subscribe below. Click the button. Uh, remember to Wait, really? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Okay. okay. It's late. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So remember Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Re re <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Remember to click below and subscribe and follow our booty on YouTube and uh, until next time until next time keep on digging <laughs>